In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make colored slip. Hi, Marie here, back with another informative pottery making video for you. Making colored slip can be messy and take a long time. But the way I'm going to show you today will cut down on the mess and the time. Plus, help you to duplicate the same color you want every time. Everything you need to make colored slip will be listed down below in the show notes for you. Let's make some colored slip. You want a smooth, hard surface to work on. Bone dry clay and a baggie. Smooth out your clay, seal it up, and don't forget your dust mask. Anytime you're working with dry clay, mason stains, or glazes, make sure to use your dust mask. Now you can use a hammer or a mallet. I choose a mallet because it covers more area. And start pounding. Once you broke up the big chunks of clay, you can use a rolling pin to break down the clay a bit more. Once the clay is broken down to tiny pieces, I'm going to put it in my measuring cup. And I want 10 ounces of clay. Go, 10 ounces. Now add some water. and stir with your spatula first. Don't forget your dust mask. Now check the smoothness of your slip. It should have the consistency of sour cream or yogurt. That looks good. Now before I put the mason stain in my slip, I want to put it through a strainer to make sure that there are no clumps left behind. Now you may think it'll take a while to put the slip through the strainer. I just tap it a few times and it goes right through. That was pretty quick. And no clumps. I place the slip back into the cup so I get 10 ounces of slip. And I'm going to mix in one ounce 
of cobalt blue mason stain. Two tablespoons equals one ounce. Make sure you level off your spoon and put your dust mask on until the powdered mason stain turns liquid. Now gently stir in the cobalt blue mason stain until it becomes liquid. Now you can use your blender. Now you check your colorant, make sure it's blended well and the consistency and then put it through a strainer again to make sure that there's no mason stain clumps anywhere. That looks good. Nice smooth consistency. Light sour cream. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like what you see, or subscribe if you haven't already. Even share with a friend that wants to make slip also. Now, a couple of taps, and that's it. Perfect. I like to store my slip in plastic bags. They last a really long time like this. Very convenient. Just make sure you don't have any holes in them. Fold it over and pour in your slip. Now you're ready to decorate. I already have 10 ounces of slip made up. Now I'm going to make some green slip with hunter green mason stain. With this stain, I only need a half an ounce because it comes out really dark. So keep that in mind when you're using darker stains. Measure out a whole tablespoon or half an ounce. Make sure it's level. It's 
so you get the same color every time and blend until the mason stain is liquid. Looks good. Make sure it's blended with your spatula. Very good. Now run it through your strainer to make sure there aren't any clumps of mason stain in your slip. That looks good. Just a few taps. Beautiful. Now you can place your colored slip into a plastic bag. Get the rest here. Now you're ready to decorate or save it for later. Slips are fun to decorate with and now quick and easy to make. Keep in mind that the colors do fire darker. You can see the difference in this hunter green color when fired. And with this blue. That's why it's good to measure out your slip and colorant so you can duplicate it or add more or less colorant to your slip. You liking, subscribing, and watching other videos supports this channel and helps me to make more videos just like this one. Head on over to this bubble glazing video or how to make a berry bowl. If you do, I get to play with more clay. Let's stay dirty.